Good afternoon everyone. Now, I'm here at the house of my auntie for my personal interview with her regarding on my subject matter philosophy on the following question related to our environment. Auntie, may I ask favor to please help me answer this following concern? Yes. What are the things that you remember in your environment when you were at my age? Well, I feel, if I'm not mistaken, if I remember it right, that was my late 80s. When you, when I am at your age before, I think our environment very nice. You can see so many birds, you can see uh, many trees, and most is the flowing river, right? But I really feel sad after almost 20 years or 30 years past, we can even live or hardly seen a river flowing. Fish is not present anymore. What we've seen is just a big creek. Now, as we all know, water is life, right? So the very big difference in our environment is our natural the past, our natural resources is becoming diminishing or they are vanishing and I am really worried what will happen to the, the next generation if you are uh, young of today don't make any move for possibility I am really afraid of the coming generation they might not enjoy or they might not send water anymore, except the expensive one, which is in the bottom already. But by streams, I don't think. So I am hoping and praying that your generation of today will work hand in hand by joining and pushing to rehabilitate our natural forest resources so we can have again that very nice water streams. What were the things that you liked doing when you were, yeah, give at least three things? Okay. During the time, at my age, at my age, we, we, we go back to my age, I really love the most doing planting things. Honestly, I love to go around with friends, with my, with my bloodlines, and I'm really encouraging them to plant, to plant any kind of trees even fruit trees or any live trees because for me i really appreciate i really take it heartedly the trees gives life number one is the water source because as we all know we just not only defend on the rain because if there is no tree we cannot we cannot expect regular rain showers because the rain shower is depend on the condensation process which is coming from the green trees, right? So, one is planting trees. Next is, I really love to, to plant some uh, flowers because I love so, to see many butterflies. I really want to love them. Even one flowers, we, I told my friends, I told my, 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 my cousins, Cousin, we'll go to the forest, we'll gather some wild, wild, wild flowers because I, I really love the flux of different butterflies. And the third one is I, I'm really fun of doing some going wild, uh, beating or gathering wild fruits. I am so fun with entering forest. <laughs> that is why at my age, when uh, between 16 down to my 20s, I really love to plant, to plant, to plant, to plant, until now, because for me, by doing or by planting every day, you have that hope, you have that light, you have that green, because green is life, right? Mm -hmm. So if I close my eyes to imagine, if we don't do this kind of doing, what would our earth look like? So I also encouraging you generation of today, especially na, you youths, na if you observe the worst, the worst scenario of our environment now, pollution is very, very high. And what's the cause of that? And what must we do to absorb that? 
So, I really feel na you have to do something by planting yun. By planting trees, trees, trees. So, that's my my three things uh, until now I remember na I love to do when, when I was 18. What are the positive and negative changes that they noticed in the environment? Well, wow, this is the worst or the very, very sad I uh, sad question or portion I have to, to share. First, positive. If I see our environment, if I close my eyes and think, I can see any positive in the environment. Even in water source, even in ears. Or even when I look around, I feel, I feel the environment is going to devastate. Meaning, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but this is my, my really honest feeling. My honest observation. The environment I used to is now vanishing. If I look at our, our surroundings, if we make into a computation it's almost converted into industrial it almost converted into commercial purposes the agriculture purpose or the agriculture is becoming very small which is it should be it should be taking good care of to support because agriculture is the backbone of our society it's a backbone of our country but sad to say no, I don't know what's the other people thinking or what's there in their mind. Why they don't? Philippines is known to be a very, very nice agriculture country. Even my foreigner employer, they really love Philippines. Philippines so well. According to them, even they just throw any kind of seeds, the seeds will just grow it without, without taking care of it. So, I'm saying now, for me, I don't see any positive in my own opinion. But I did not say that the environment is bad now. But if you see positive, for me, really, I don't, I don't see it. Negative, negative, so me. The rampant growing of that commercial and industrial. Look at our forests. Look at our plateaus. What are those people doing? The greed, the, I don't know, the demolize the natural forms of our lands, which is good also for the barriers, diba? That land forms, the natural land forms is a barrier to any natural phenomenon, especially strong winds. But it's sad to see the reality that it is happening. That is why I am telling ahead now you generation should make moves to protect, to protect this environment, to protect this earth. Because if we don't do anything, me at my age is too late for me. I feel my time is already passed by. You as the young generation have very, very nice chance for the, 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 the time to post it, to shout it, to profit our Mother Earth for the lives in the next generation. If you see, there are almost no trees. What we also seen is sometimes the people is burning the, the, the few trees. So I feel it is not really properly teach or I don't know, properly informed or how should we bring the information to every Filipino that we should take good care of our environment, especially our trees? Because that's the only hope for our future generation. Do you think the environment plays a vital role in a person's development? Why or why not? Yes, very, very big yes environment really plays a vital role because this is the, this is the source of our existence if our environment is not healthy if our environment is an i don't 
I'm sorry, I, I, I cannot really express the, the, the correct word. Because for me, man, God, in order to live good life, peaceful, happy, we should first build healthy environment. If I say healthy, it must be everything will well properly in place. Meaning, in order to have healthy, peaceful, and healthy living, we should make our environment first healthy, clean, and free of any pollution or pollutants. Even people can be counted as pollutants. In such a way, in very, very common doing, and I feel most of us Filipinos are doing this, the throwing of garbage waste everywhere. That really affect our environment to ruin. Plastics, non-degradable, anywhere, anywhere. Which results to the very big problem of our global world. That's our doing. Sometimes we always complain what's happening to our universe, what's happening to the world, what's happening to earth, but we don't even think our own doing, what I've done, what I've done that caused this bad result in my earth, in my universe, in my environment. Meaning, environment really a very, very vital foundation foundation for a good human living existence how do you okay how do humans react to nature explain and in what way are your answers positive or negative how do human react nature well for me i really react nature just like a human like me sometimes i i have to talk uh, sometimes my 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 boyfriend because mommy what, what are you doing why are you talking with the plants in kono even though they are just plants but they must be uh taking care of or they must be uh bring it up like a human or or what's a, how should we explain this one uh we should we should have that mutual interaction with the nature and the people or the human. Meaning, we should understand how the nature is. Because if we don't understand about nature, we cannot do or we cannot uh, express ourselves also to nature. Uh, like for example, if you want that nature gives you this 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 healthy environment, uh, example water. If you want the nature gives you very very fresh flowing water, what should we do? What 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 must I do? Do I need to cut trees? Do I need to to devastate all this? Meaning, we should take note seriously how we can understand nature. How can we react by nature? Even though they cannot speak, they cannot feel, but we should, we human as our, uh, we as a responsible mankind, we need to understand and study to a nature so that we can protect it. We have the right, the right thinking or the right anticipation how this nature be kept for 100 years, 200 years? Because if we don't understand, if we cannot react, we're just happy living with our own manner. The nature will not go with you. I swear, the nature will not go with you. Because 
you are not aware or you don't take good care or can any concern to the nature of what will happen by your doing. So in understanding or reacting to nature must be very, very important to a mankind, to a human being, so that you also have a healthy living. Because nature is really a worst scenario if it will get angry. How? Look at the flash floods. Look at the volcanic eruptions. Don't, don't you think what's the cause of that? Diba? Meaning, the phenomenon, the natural phenomenon happening to our universe, happening to our time today, is because of the human error. The misdoing. The misdoing. Our misdoing. Which resulting to this bad scenario. This bad effect. Because we are ruining our nature by not loving, by not taking good care of, by just ignoring. Diba? So that's how I, I perceive or that's how I react. For me, I was engaged in farming. Farming, farming, farming. And my motto as a farmer is like this. What I get from the soil, I always return it to the soil. Mm -hmm. I don't burn. I basta. Whatever I take it, I always return to the zone. Because I feel na by doing that I can maintain. I can prolong. I can keep the life of the zone. So as I want to keep my own life. And I hope na I can help you, not only for your subject matter, but I hope na it can encourage all young generation at your age now na you have to understand you have to think miles away on what will happen if this scenario of our environment will getting worse worse and worse and worse because of just few business minded person we cannot afford to be a businessman all the time most especially in our urban place most of our livelihood is farming. How can we do farming if we will not protect our environment? So I hope this interview will help you and if the uh, bring to your your classmates and open up the young of your generation. You have also the big responsibility to protect this environment. Otherwise, if we don't help one another, we are all in danger. Okay. Uh, thank you, Ria, for the time uh, and choosing me as your interviewee. I, I hope and I pray that I can share this some thoughts, not only for you, but for the whole uh, of your classes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.